Hi, it's Christine Nielsen. I'm currently in Present Laughter, and I'm playing Never Have I Ever. <laughs> ever. Never Have I Ever. Yes, I have. My parents had a home on Cape Cod, and I would be sitting out in the garden, I don't know why, but sitting out in the garden at night, you know, you'd try to get away from the family a little bit, especially in the summer. So uh, I would sit out there, and there would be a light that would go on and off in the attic, and it was an old sea captain's house that had been shipped down board by board from Maine. So we figured it was some crazy person sea captain, uh, kind of like an, you know, what was it, like Long John Silver? I don't know. We never heard the thumping, but we did see lights go on and off. So I believe in ghosts. No, I've wanted to, and I won't even tell you who. Oh, many, many, many times, especially on airplanes. Hopefully not united, but you know, you never know. But you sit and you never will tell anyone what you do because you can be trapped on an airplane. You can't get up and walk around and move around. They find you, they'll find you wherever. Yes, I have. I think everybody does in, uh, you know, at some point on a boardwalk somewhere in New Jersey. Everybody needs to go to a psychic in New Jersey just to see how they're living in New Jersey. You know, yes, I know, that's terrible. Now nobody from New Jersey will like me anymore, but that's just the story. My whole family lives over there now and they're all going to psychics every day to see what the future is. This is a sadly true story. Now I hope this is very serious because I broke a bone while doing present laughter and they didn't fire me. I broke a wrist, just a simple, horrible, right in the snow, admitting how old I am. I went down like a ton of bricks. No one helped me. <laughs> I have to say that. It's such a typical New York story. Not one person asked if I was all right. No. I have not had a friend vomit on me. But again, I refer to New York City. I, I remember when Mayor Koch, that's again how old I am, uh, had the, he gave free subway rides on New Year's Eve. And you can only imagine the joy of getting in in your pretty party frock and sitting down and having some horrible man, of course it was a man, some horrible man just turn to you and spew all over you and then you're still like, about four subway stops from when you have to get off. So yes, yes, in New York. It's embarrassing to say, but yes, sometimes I laugh so hard. I'm very lucky in the show that I am right now that I have these moments where I come dashing off stage, and you'll know why when you see Kevin Klein, because uh, he will make you laugh. I love stupid, silly things. And I also love people when they make mistakes. And then I start laughing. Last night we had a mistake where, the, uh, where Fred, who's the uh, manservant and sort of butler, had to make an entrance and his cue was off, everything was off slightly, and he just dashed in the middle of the scene through the scene <laughs> to answer the door that no one had acknowledged. And, uh, and I just started laughing. And uh, I didn't have to, I did not pee in my pants at that moment. But uh, I have been known to, to start laughing so hard that I will do that. 